Bro, I can't help. Oh my god. You can say it. We all want to hear it. That's the hot part. Hoffa Day Pika fams, and welcome back to another episode of That's Hot Par, Mariana Spiciest Talk Show. I'm your host, Roki Alcantara Jr., and I am stoked and so excited to introduce to you tonight's featured guest. But before we get to her, we'd like to give a big shout out to our big bro, our Kuya, the living MMA legend who lives on this beautiful island of Guam, Mr. Brandon The Truth of Vera. Thank you, my brother, uh, for gracing us with, uh, you know, your stories, your presence, and of course, uh, your time with your family being here. Man, uh, big shout out to Mount Carmel down there at uh, Agate, the charter school. First of its kind, combatives curriculum. Good job, man, Brandon. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Here we go. The woman of the hour, <laughs> female flash, <laughs> our featured guest for season three, episode six. She is faster than fast. She's an Olympian, Guam national record holder, Navy indoor national record holder, record holder for five different high school events. She also won Dr. Shea Scholar Athlete in 2016. She's also known as the fastest woman in the Marianas. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bank of Guam heat seat, Miss Regine Tagati. Hey guys. Yay! Oh. Okay. There you go, that works. <laughs> right on, man. Regine, thank you so much for being here. Uh, welcome to the Bank of Guam Pika table. Uh, we heard you don't handle the Pika very well. No, so. I don't. <laughs> so, right on. So truthfully, I'll never sorry you. No, I'm cool doing this talk show. Right. I can I can be on camera and anything, but man, this is this is what's gonna get me. <laughs> right on. First off, what's your uh, what's your heat tolerance level? Oh man, well at Vons I get uh, not hot at all, so <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So, uh, I mean, I like I like kimchi. I like okay. you know, yeah. Yeah, pickle yeah, pickles. Jesus. A little right. bit spicy, but I don't know. I need some like ice cream after. Okay, <laughs> right well, we have some acai bowls after all this, or even during. Feel free to help yourself. Uh, but yeah, before we get going, though, we're gonna do a uh, get a um, go into a little commercial break and hear from our corporate sponsors, uh, the Bank of Guam. Solid. Solid. Solid! That early hour of the morning. Mm. Solid. Solid. Oh yeah! Solid. First wing of the evening, first feature is a staple on our show, Pari BJ. You can get it on the store. You can get it um, on his Insta. Hit him up, follow him. Yeah. Have you tried Pari BJ? I have not. Right so. on. Okay, so let's go right into it. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Okay, that's doable. <laughs> Reading this start at the beginning. Um, where were you born and raised and what school did you attend? I was born and raised here on Guam. I went to BMS. Uh, I lived super close to it. Um, and then I graduated from JFK in 2016. Shout out, 2016. Oh yeah. <laughs> so every legend has their origin, right? Uh, origin story, we want to know yours, right? So how did you get into the sport, track and field? And when did you realize that you had all that talent? So I always wanted to be like my older sister. She is like six, seven years older than me. And I just always shout wanted to Shout out to your cop. sister? Yeah, shout out to my sister, I guess. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but I always wanted to be like her in literally everything. And she was really good in track. So I would always go to her track meets and I'd be like, I want to do that. So she was a hurdler in high school and I really wanted to do hurdles, but obviously I'm not a hurdler. Yeah, I wanted to do track because of my sister. Cool, you were very much inspired by her, right? Yeah, I started track in sixth grade um, as soon as I could do track, but right. before that, my mom and dad used to bring me to 5Ks every Saturday oh. morning. I hated it. Oh, yeah. No, like... He likes to wake up early. It was... It's not even the waking oh. up earliest, the running really far. That's... It. Yeah, that's why I chose to During, do sprint. Yeah, very early, yes. running very far. Yes. So, like, I'm, I was small enough at the time, so my dad would have to carry me. Oh, shoot. When did you realize that you had all that talent as you got into the high school? Were you like, man, this is for me? This, um, I, uh, this is me and... 
from the jump you. honestly i'd say from the jump just like sixth grade yeah. it was just really fun doing it i mean my coach started me out in long distance so obviously i didn't like it but i was like kept bugging her to make me run sprints so i can run shorter and <laughs> i mean it was fun from there right on man regime we're moving on to the second feature of the evening uh, my homie craig sees oh i love that sees logo the nancy yeah check that out That's and cute. this is a strawberry infused uh for sure um and yeah just uh before we get to that wing we'd like to give a big shout out to our uh drink sponsors of the evening thank you very much current guam oh, jojo and the team <laughs> thank you so much for yeah giving us that liquid courage that we need <laughs> there you go ready for this one yep there you go cheers <laughs> there we go Mm, that's good. That's not that spicy. Right? I kind of taste the sweet a little bit. I like it. All right, man. So <laughs> fast forward to the 2024 Olympics in Paris. You did something no other Guam female athlete has ever done. A fourth place finish and advancing out of the preliminary round of the 100 meter race. What was your immediate reaction finding out that you advanced? Well, it took me a while to find out because um, in track, there's always like the auto qualifiers. So that's the big cue and then they get like the next top fastest times. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I expected more out of myself. I wanted that big cue like right away. So like, you know, right after you run that you qualify, but no, I had to wait for like half an hour or more than to find out for that little cue. And it was just, I made it like just by the skin of my teeth. So yeah. super oh. excited. And I was like, oh, thank God. Because I was like, I am not gonna go to my third Olympics and not move on to the oh. next round. Oh yeah. So you're already having a, a strong summer having broken your own 100 meter record in uh, micro games in RMI. Uh, did you feel like something big was in store for you um, this year or did you end up surprising even yourself? You know, 2024 was supposed to be my year, my like, you know, my season. Mm -hmm. um, and it came off to a really, really rough start, like from January all the way up to literally micro games. Mm -hmm. I was just not running the times I was supposed to be running. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to relax. Like micro games is supposed to be the you know, the competition I'm going to have fun in. Right. Um, and lo and behold, when you have fun in the sport you love, like, results will come. Right on. Right on. Third wing of the evening. It's a new feature from the ladies at Chamarita Eats. Gio Leon Guerrero uh, from the village of Gigo. Thank you so much for dropping off this Denanti and being a new feature on our show. So I've never tried it. You know, I also like that logo. Logo's dope, right? Right on, man. Before we get to this wing, though, we're going to give a big shout out to our local sponsor of the evening, the brothers from Anywhere. Uh, Eric Bear, thank you guys so much for always being a supporter on our show. Uh, got a collab shirt coming now. So stay tuned. Uh, stay ready. Follow them too on Insta. Thank you again, Eric. So much, man. Here we go. Chamarita Eats. First time. Look at that flavor. Oh man, is that green bean? Oh, that's good. I might regret that second bite. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again, Gio and the folks at Chamarita Eats. That's a very that. cute logo, by the way. Just right. saying. You were all over the news on Guam and Micronesia having accomplished what you did in the Olympics. Um, but your race wasn't the only thing that people buzzing over you plenty of people on social media seem to smitten by guam athlete during the pre-race video pan of all the runners i know you remember this what moment was that like for you seeing you trending for a whole different reason well first of all like usually i say hi to the camera when they do the you know all the intros and stuff but this this race in particular like right before i was like dude i i'm like focused, focused. locked in but like so I was like, I'm not gonna look in the camera. But then I just see it's him going by there. and I see him stop in front of me. And I'm like, okay, I'm just looking down. This is fine. And then he's still there. So I'm like, okay, I'll say hi. And so I was like, hi, whatever. Right, right, right. <laughs> I tried the wink, but that didn't really work well. I winked <laughs> like Rihanna. <laughs> okay. So did that surprise you at all when you- uh... I got my phone right after the race and I was like, oh my God, like <laughs> what is going on? And then just as the days like progress, I just see people just making these TikToks of me and it's just really funny. It's really cute. <laughs> right. Uh, so we know you're a three-time Olympic uh, athlete uh, who competed in Rio, Tokyo and Paris. Uh, what would you say is the biggest difference from your first back in 2016 and the most recent one uh, in Paris in 2024? Well, 2016, I was a baby. Really? Fresh out of high school, like I'm just starting college. So like 
everything is just so huge to me. Like, I'm like, wow, what is going on? You right. know, I'm just taking everything in um, and really just ex the experience for it to be like, you know, I'm 18 years old and I'm an Olympian. This is crazy. It's crazy. So we go from that to 2021. That was a little heartbreaking because 2020 was supposed to be the next one in Tokyo, but we had to push that back see, because of that. COVID, which is understandable, you know, but it just kind of sucked because 2020 was the year I graduated from college and that was like my best season. My senior year in track uh, in college was just my best year and then I had to go back another year. So I was just like, okay. But really the best one by far is Paris. Paris Not only there. because like I finally accomplished something that I've been wanting to do for so long, but just Paris is gorgeous. I mean, gorgeous. Well, everyone, I everyone, oh, 10 out of 10. <laughs> right, right, highly recommend. 11 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so beautiful. And I'm so lucky I had so much time afterwards because the first two, Olympic Games, I had to go right back to the Naval Academy and then go by, go right back to the Navy right. in Tokyo. So And you got to spend a lot of time outside of the, the games? Yeah, 10 days after I competed, oh, me geez. and my older sister were just going around, seeing like the Louvre and like yeah. going to all the cafes. Doing What's all your the, favorite like, food there? Everybody talks about the food or the bread or... I love macarons, I love macarons. pastries, so yeah, was, pastry. that was my favorite part. And the wine. Oh, you know, okay. I couldn't like really drink a lot before right, um, while I'm training of course mm -hmm. but right after like okay I'm gonna have a glass of wine or this three, is a French four. yeah maybe two or three <laughs> but <laughs> you know well one I couldn't do that in a while two like that's a pretty touristy French thing to do oh, so I'll do it <laughs> right yeah you have to did you really go to Paris if you didn't have wine oh absolutely right, right. <laughs> yeah. right on moving on fourth wing of the evening it's uh, the Nancy uh, brand over there at the, they get, can get this at the Market Deli, all the Payless, she even donkey donkey. Uh, <laughs> big shout out to Lenny Farron and the team for always uh, making that craft hot sauce. Um, and yeah, you know, why not just give a shout out to, to our wing sponsors, the Market Deli. Thank you guys so much, Rob, Fluff, Lenny, thank you guys so much for uh, giving us these wings this evening, man. You ready for this? Have you tried? Uh, I know they have all kinds of different You turned ones, it so. around this way and I'm seeing the heat level over here. That's mm. four out of five. Four out of five. So let's do it, right? It should be hot, man. Let's do it because <laughs> I feel like I feel like you, you haven't reached the heat level with you yet. So ready for this? Let's, let's see. do it. <laughs> Donnie Molino. You said take two bites of this? <laughs> you trying to set me up oh here? Oh my God. There's Donnie in there for sure. <laughs> man, it tastes good, but... It's gonna get there, right? Hey, Regine, let's take a break from your athletic accomplishments because we can honestly make a whole show centered around your records and achievements. But who is Regine Tagati off the track and what does she enjoy doing the most? That's a great question. Um, I love cats. All right. <laughs> like, I just love cats. Um, do you have, how many do you have? Well, I have 1.5. 1.5? One of them's really small right now. Okay. Well, I mean, she's growing. I thought like you just spent like custody and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just kidding. Oh, we put like it. you go see your friend's house, you know what I mean? Okay, if we put it that there. way, that's like 1.5 okay. and a 0.5. Okay. But it's just inside a smaller joke, mini, mini cat and a... Yeah, I have a, like a seven month kitten. Oh, okay. Something like that, yeah. And then the other one we have, I have um, split custody right now. Okay. <laughs> and would, you say, <laughs> would you say that that's the thing you enjoy most is just taking care of your cats? Or do you have like a, another hobby outside of, you know, running fast? Well, I like, when I was in Florida, so I was fostering kittens. Like my, my house was a revolving door for like little orphan kittens or sick kittens. Gosh. So I love taking care of that, you know? And it really appealed to me because one, I love cats, I love kittens. I love taking care of them, but also no commitment issues. <laughs> <laughs> right on, man. We're moving on to the halfway point of our fifth wing here. Another new feature on the show this evening, Pika Powder, made in Malesu. Big shout out to Keenan Kanata uh, for making this, uh, you know, first feature for us, first try. So we're going to see how hot it really is. Uh, but yeah, big shout out. Hit them up. Um, uh, Lanchero products that's the tag hit them up man follow them if you want some of this dust <laughs> cheers mm. crispy i don't think of what that reminds me of because that tastes 
a flavored. Uh, I kind of like Doritos, yeah, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> Doritos, right? <laughs> you know, if I if I tell myself it tastes like Doritos, I think I can make it through. Right. Anyways, we're moving on to a new segment of our show, Regine, called Islanders Only. Some topics, discussions on things that Islanders should know. But who's the funniest Tagati sibling? Rizaldi, Riza, Rochelle, or Regine? And they're watching right now, so. I think my little sister takes the cake for funniest looking. Oh, funniest looking, okay. <laughs> Oh but, damn! Oh damn! Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I take it back because a lot of people think she looks like me, Ooh. so I have to take that back. But no, my I think my little brother's funny. Yeah, he's just really quiet. But when he speaks, he, he makes. Yeah, he makes yeah, people I well. think so. He's also funny looking, but you know. That's cool. That's cool. He doesn't look like you. Okay, he kind of does. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go with uh, what's your youngest brother's name? Um, RJ. We call him RJ. We call him Boy. Boy. Yeah, because he's the he's only boy. Oh, he's the so only boy, so we call him Boy. Wow. But right yeah, on. RJ. RJ. Shout out RJ. Uh, Regine, what's your go-to uh, post-race meal? McDonald's. McDonald's. For sure. You're kidding me. Big Mac, extra sauce, no pickles, medium fries, and ten-piece nuggets. Jesus. All the time. Do you eat the fries? All no. Of course I do. Oh, I'm like, what? <laughs> Should you save that for me then if you're not gonna eat it? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna eat it. Why would I order? Okay, the meal. Okay, the, Big Mac the meal. The Big Mac meal Large, plus the 10 piece meat, Yeah, nuggets. super size me, right? Or some I mean, nuggets and some of these hot wings. It's not spicy like this. <laughs> <laughs> this is our uh, sixth wing of the evening and it's uh, featured by our family at the Red Rice. This is their Pika Basco. Real favorite on the show. Uh, Chris, Christian, Nancy Carm, thank you guys so much for gracing us with the hot sauce from Vegas. Vegas is Just fun. Yeah. It is really hot, but it's fun. It's fun there, <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. This one looks tough, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> is my wing even in <laughs> Where there is somewhere? It? Oh my god. Thank you, Robbie. <laughs> oh god. I mean, it's good, but. <laughs> no overwhelming? No, that's really good. Yeah. I'm just trying not to think about spicy. Okay, let's go. Let's move on right here. So, legend has it you raced our producer, Rob Bella Hodge, in a 100 meter race, and he almost won. Yo, that was long ago. <laughs> long time. <laughs> almost won. Why you almost like to lie? <laughs> Almost as in like... Why are we lying here? <laughs> like you... <laughs> so... Photo finish. I think I gave you oh, head, start. Yeah. <laughs> head because, start. Because he wouldn't be in the shot if... <laughs> oh yeah, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Two seconds right. head start. If we started so the you same said, time... So you said go and then you just started putting on your shoes, No, right? I think I remember we <laughs> said we had to have two people say go. So the go was for you. The first one, the second go was for me. And they took their sweet time oh, <laughs> saying the second go. Okay, so I guess Legend doesn't have that. You know, we're almost winning, Rob. Sorry. Why you like your life? He tried, he tried. <laughs> Here we go, Regine, moving on. Seventh wing of the evening by my homie, Derek, for real. Kumasan Ghostville, have you tried? No. You haven't tried this one? It's like if, um, the devil was making its own hot sauce. <laughs> uh, this one has six, um, you know, six, yeah. icy level. Six, I believe. Ooh. Ghost pepper. Yeah. yeah, it's out of five too. Six out of five. It's freaking crazy. <laughs> You've had ghost pepper before. Though. No. <laughs> <laughs> they put ghost pepper in kimchi. You know Stop that? Lying. No, I'm lying. I'm lying. Cheers. Not bad. Man, got me in the first half, not gonna lie. <laughs> so yeah, big shout out to Seprim Familia. I look it tastes good, but whew. Let it marinate a little bit, and let's uh, answer this question. Did you learn any Portuguese, Japanese, or French during any of your Olympic tours? We. Oui. <laughs> oui. <laughs> I know you know some Japanese already, right? Hi. Hi, yes. <laughs> right on. Whew. Did you learn how to ask for a Big Mac and Nuggets? No. <laughs> no, we use a touch screen. Oh. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> so what's, what's been some um, of the worst pronunciations of your last name? Well, first of all, my first name, this is the only time someone's ever butchered it like this, but my first name, Regine Kate. 
Someone pronounced it Regina Cate. Wow, <laughs> Regina Cate. And of course, this was in the Navy, so you know, it ain't local. Right. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll give you that, but. <laughs> Did you get your purse at Cate Spade? No, oh my God. Because <laughs> then you had that one for me. <laughs> that, took me, us, that yeah. took me a second. <laughs> so Regine Kate, it was, what, Regine? Regina Cate. Regina Cate, wow. And where was this at? In the Navy? In the States. From the States I um, All I'm gonna say is he's not local. No. <laughs> <laughs> was he French? <laughs> Man, that would, that would help his case, but no, he was not <laughs> he was French. Not <laughs> there we go, moving on. Eighth wing of the evening. Kaduku de Nancy. We're gonna get Kaduku up in oh here now. This God. is made in the jungles of Jordania. See, that's Shout how out. you know they're for real. <laughs> yeah, look at this too, lightly coated. Lightly coated. Lightly coated, coated yeah, where? Tell, tell me about it, right? <laughs> Who okay, did this? I want to bite the bottom only. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bite from the top. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Cheers. Oh my gosh. All right, now. Taste of onion there, right? That's local pepper for sure. Man, you can see it too. <laughs> right on, man. Let me just think I'm eating something else, right? <laughs> Wash it down. There you go. All right, Regine, we're moving on to a segment of our show called Pika Picks. We're going to show you some pictures of uh, yourself. You just give us some of story. Of me? You, somewhere, maybe. We're going to see right here. All right, give us some story background behind it, okay? Is that the, <laughs> that's the one, right? That's so funny. So that was like two million and one views now because we're, we're watching Oh, see, right but now. the other one had much more, had two million likes. But no, that one, no, that one's funny. Wonder Woman, With the here's my favorite DC. You know, superhero. Mm -hmm. I actually dressed up as her one time, but. Right on, well you're the Mariana's Wonder Woman. <laughs> Yo, I'll take that. Right on. How about this one right here? Oh, come on. <laughs> I was a baby. Man, I thought it was so cool though. Yeah? Because that was my first time, like, you know, kind of flying. Uh -huh. I wasn't really flying, but he was like, yeah, you have the controls. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Right on, here we go. Second to the last wing of the evening. Oh, thank God. Right? Six for six. My homie, Brendan McCaughey. Follow that man, he's smoking meat and he's smoking some coconut, pumpkin, kombucha. The Nancy man, he's a crafty guy. Cheers. Okay, maybe that's kind of my favorite. Mm. Well, flavor is there. Yeah, lots of flavor. You take another bite too. Here you go, more picks. Ready? Oh God. Right here. Oh my God. <laughs> Why you gotta do that? <laughs> so I was 18. It was really cool that I got to take a picture with Usain Bolt. But man, I wish. So crazy. So here, backstory. 18 years old and I had just started like Naval Academy. Mm -hmm. So we have to cut our hair. We can't pass our chin. <laughs> That's the um. For like boot camp. Right. I mean, we can grow it out after, but like, you know. That summer, I had to, man, I didn't have a choice. <laughs> and I look like a, I look like Dora. Dora and Jean Cotte. Oh <laughs> but you saying bold though. Tell us, man, you spoke That's English? The own, of course you speak English. Great, he Come does, on. yeah, I know. Sorry, I, <laughs> I've, heard it. I've heard his interview. Sorry, I forgot, I forgot. He asked you, can we take a picture together? Oh yeah, of course, he's the one who asked me. Yeah. No. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. No, I was thinking. of course I asked him. Yeah, you yeah. saw him just walking by? Like, yeah, he was not no, so that was at the practice track. So I was like, well, he's literally not running right now, so maybe that seems like time, my right? only chance. Because if he's running, how you- I don't want to bother him. <laughs> Good job for you, you can say you met the man, the legend, the myth. For sure. Right? How about this one right here, for those fine people? That was, that was me about to leave for the first time going to the Naval Academy. I'm all smiles, all smiles. but man, as soon as I got there, red eyes, crying, oh. ugly crying. <laughs> okay. I'm glad you didn't find that picture. <laughs> the before, we got the before. <laughs> that's mom and dad? Yeah, that's the before picture. Love my parents. Yeah, you wanna give a shout out to them? Mom, dad? Love you guys. Right. Very uh, much. <laughs> biggest fans, right? Yeah, you know, it's crazy because growing up, kindergarten all the way through like senior year, JFK, <laughs> man, they, Especially my mom was on me about my grades. Oh, yeah. No 97%, only 100. Oh, but no, as soon as I got to the Naval Academy, they're like, as long as you graduate. <laughs> <laughs> right it's on. okay. It's okay if you're getting B's or C's. Yeah. Just, just graduate. 
Very nice. What's the minimum to graduate? <laughs> <laughs> Right on, Regine. We're gonna finish strong right here, man. Right, uh, tenth wing of the evening by the Supreme Fam again. Lisa and Derek, Derek for real. Follow them on Insta. You can find their stuff. Well, you can't find this because this is exclusively made for us. Check oh, that for out. real? For real. Oh, hold go. on. You say you got tums, right? We got tums. We got tums. <laughs> we got your tums. Now you don't. Know, you don't need to let that one marinate. It's right there. You gonna take a second bite? Let's just do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh. <laughs> mm. oh, that was a lot. That was a lot. Jesus Christ. Well, before you go, we're gonna um, put you at the podium here. Regine, we're gonna ask you to uh, uh, rank your most uh, significant medals from bronze to gold for I'm us. Sorry, can I have that headband first? Get that headband over here. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I can't. <laughs> Oh, good catch. <laughs> Yo. You're good, you're good. Oh my God. You can say it. We all want to hear it. That's the hot part. Yeah. <laughs> Took you to the night at uh, the last wing to say, wow, man, these are really hot. Man, you're making me cry. Well, because it's almost over and it's very sad. This is the saddest part. Every no, that's the best part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. It's a, it's like a, it's like a happy ending to a movie, right? My final. <laughs> Hold on, let me. Put... Shout out, man! Shout out to the. I'm starting to sweat. Anywhere for providing the headband because we all know, we all know. There you are. <laughs> you are. There's that competitive no. spirit. That's no, what I'm talking they about. knew I was gonna need this. Well, it's only fitting you put on a headband because you're gonna show us some hardware. Uh. And I know when you get that presented. There it is. There it is, baby. Wonder Woman. Right on, man. Sorry, let me just move. Yeah, I'm biting my pants. I need to loosen oh the belt. Gosh, uh, pump that chest out, girl. Here we go. I don't even want to look at you. <laughs> I'm mad at you. <laughs> you wouldn't be the first person. Oh my gosh. So man. you told me to bring me three different ones, my top. So can you share with us what, uh, where these are and... Uh... Yeah, so this one, I really chose this because it's really pretty and it's pink, it's my favorite color. Um, it's literally just a random meet in Jacksonville, Florida. It says Invitational on it. Yep, but look at that. There was a bunch of kids there and I ran against a Manamku, but... Yeah, right. <laughs> that's why I have gold. Very nice. But I really just chose this because it's pink and it's cute. Beautiful. Oh yeah. What else do I got? I got this big giant medal, Guam Track and Field National Championships. Oh. Also Where's chose it because it's really pretty. That's their colors. Probably the yeah. prettiest medal. Like look at that. Wow, oh, look at that. Oh, I'm still and all. Jeez. Everything, yeah. And it's huge. Jeez, don't. <laughs> What'd you do to turn that one? I ran. <laughs> I'm assuming. I'm assuming you did. And probably really fast too. I mean, fast enough. <laughs> fast enough to go. Okay. It's the other one here. Wow. That looks expensive. Oh, it's heavy too. Yeah. You know, gold's expensive nowadays. I mean, but uh, that's priceless. So. This is micro games. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, that was like Aww. a huge for this season because I actually ran fast for the first time this entire from January till when was this? Like June? Whew. You That's a fast lot of time. It yeah. For sure. There you go, man. Right on, Regine. Tugati, thank you so much for gracing us with, um, again, with your presence, but also, you know, suffering on the heat seat with me, uh, uh, for everybody out there. Me. No. <laughs> awesome. But yes, Regine, on behalf of myself, our producer, Rob Belahaja, our main editor, Mike Bloss, the film crew, Bout It Productions. We just like to say, don't clean us to small Aussie. Thank you so much. Congratulations on all your achievements, man. We are so, uh, we're so happy for you and we're, we're such big fans. Um, but before we let you go, we want you to go to give a shout out to those deserving of it, those you want to mention, you know, and uh, let us know what's to come in the near future for Regine. 
Yeah, I mean, always just gotta give a shout out to um, big man up there, but always shout out to my friends, my family, my team out here on Guam. You know, really just everyone on Guam because, you know, we come from a small island, but being out there and running out there, I felt like I had, like, you know, I was coming from a big country with so many people. That's how much love I felt. So I really appreciate that. I mean, like, shout out to my high school coaches, Coach Jay and Coach Bowman. Like, they're the ones who really started my career. Right and here I am now, still running. Yeah, here you are now. <laughs> still not doing the 400. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Too far. <laughs> Too far. <laughs> but we're gonna try hurdles. We are gonna, gonna try, gonna try hurdles this so season, that, thank God. You're hearing it here, right? Yeah, I'm yeah, Coach Jay was the one who didn't want me to hurdle. Yeah. So that's why I'm Antonio? doing it now. Oh yeah, Shout Coach Jay Antonio. Coach Jay. Jay MK. <laughs> Jay MK. Well, yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm, I'm only 26. You know, we have athletes out there, awesome females who are still running, sprinting and getting medals when they're, you know, 30 plus mm -hmm. and have kids like, right. yeah, I'm I'm still in my prime and I hope to continue running. That's so what's up. hopefully I can make 2028 in L.A. That'd be, cool. that'd be really cool. Right, we're behind you on that one, man. Keep freaking striving that. for that. We're still we hope uh, the, the most and, and the best for you. If you're ready to shut this down, let's do it. You yeah, I, I need some um, relief from this. <laughs> well, let's I end need it. the bathroom. There you go. <laughs> there we go. One time for the camera. That's, That's hot, hot part. part.